All right guys, super weird environment for today's video, but bear with me, I'm trying to get these videos out for you. But in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be going over a shaky text effect in DaVinci Resolve. This is going to be wiggling around like it is on screen right now. But guys, I just wanna let you know that tomorrow is a free live masterclass on how to become a pro video editor from A to Z. You guys are not gonna wanna miss it. There's two different time slots, so hit whatever time you need works best for you. But without further ado, let's hop into the tutorial. All right guys, so we are in here now. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the titles and grab a text plus and drag it onto the timeline. And we're just gonna make this the length of our clip. So in, in this example, mine is about four seconds long. Now, in order to make this text effect, the first thing that we have to do is essentially make it to our liking. So we have to design our text first. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna design it. But first things first is we're just gonna do loading text and I'm gonna go to the font and I'm gonna do Gotham Ultra and we're gonna turn this up to where it's like this. I'm gonna do it just like this. So just make it bigger, make it look better. Put it in the middle and I'm gonna go to shading and go to number two and enable this red outline, turn the thickness all the way up and I'm gonna change the color to black. Now going into the future page, this is where we're gonna mainly be working. So with that being said, under the template, you are going to hit shift space and I'm just gonna do a glow um, and I'm just gonna turn the glow up and then the glow size up and the glow size or the glow actual glow down. Then we're gonna do a shift space and search for a drop shadow. Make sure you're applying the right one guys. Turn the shadow strength up, turn the blur down and turn the drop distance closer and now you have a pretty cool looking text effect. So now what we're gonna do to this is now we're gonna make it float. Now we're gonna need two different nodes. We're gonna need a transform node. With that being said, we're gonna go to the uh, timeline and, and do shift space for a transform and we are gonna be using two nodes actually. So what you're gonna do is on frame zero, you're gonna animate this down. You're gonna hit a keyframe and go to 35 and go back to 0.5. And then now you can see you have just a straight shot animation. We're gonna make this look better by going into the spline, check marking this, zooming to fit, command A, and then double clicking and go to ease and then out cubic. So now if you check this out, it's a lot smooth. It's a lot more smooth, it looks a lot better, and it just brings everything to life. Now finally, we're gonna go over here and add motion blur and turn the quality all the way up. So that way now it really ties it all together, okay? Now, Ryan, how do you get the float text effect? Right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna shift space for another node, the shake effect. So it's called camera shake. Make sure you apply this one right here, not the 3D one. So now if we play this back, obviously it looks absolutely mad intense. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make sure one deviation is going to be higher than the other. So for the Y, if you want the Y deviation to be higher, then you can make this one higher. If you want the X to be higher, then make it higher. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna significantly turn these each down. So for me personally, I want the X higher, and now if you could already tell, it looks a lot better. But it's just too, it's too, it's too strong. So we're gonna turn the overall strength down and the speed. Now if you play it back, you get this very subtle float effect, and it is the coolest thing in the world. So if we play this back, now it's floating around, it looks super good and you can also do an animation out. Now playing with these slider bars is really going to change your video, your text and how it floats in general, but keep in mind what's going to change the strength of the floatness is literally just overall strength and speed. So however big you want the float shade of shake effect to happen or however small you want it to happen. If you want it to be very subtle, very noticeable, or less noticeable, then uh, do a lower setting. And if you want it to be very noticeable, then do a higher setting, right? So that is going to conclude this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a very quick tutorial. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to join the lap masterclass. Register with the link down below. There's only 500 spots available. So I will see you guys in the next video.